All right, so we want to look at this beautiful question from 2021 January exams. This is a circle geometry question, and in the circle geometry question, there was a bit of algebra. So let's just get into it and see what happens. How do you attempt this question? So in the diagram below, A, B, C, and D are points on the circumference of a circle. These are the points on the circumference of the circle with the center O, A, O, C, A, O, C, and B, O, D, those are straight lines. These are diameters, right? So they split the circle into semicircles. So those are diameters. A, B, and D, C are parallel. So we have to determine the some values. That's what the question asks us to do. State the reason why angle ABC is 90 degrees. That's this angle here, this one. So what's the first rule? Well, you see, this is this this is a diameter, and it makes a semicircle here. So this angle ABC is the angle inside a semicircle, and the first rule says that angles in a semicircle is 90 degrees so so angles in a semicircle 90 degrees let's go on to the next one determine the value of each of the following angles show detail working when necessary the first one they want is angle b a c so let's go to my larger diagram b a c angle b a c how do we find angle b a c first where is angle b a c b a c so there's this 2p and as I look across here, I see 3P. And that indicates to me that if this is 90 degrees, then these remaining two angles must add up to 90 degrees as well because this is a triangle. So that's some work in there. So I would be like angles in a triangle. Everybody know this equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, 2p plus 3p must be equal to 90 or i can write it like add the 90 degrees must be equal to the 180 degrees so 2p plus 3p must add up to the 90 degrees so we have 5p being equal to 90 degrees and p is equal to 90 divided by 5 how many times can 5 go into 90 18 degrees determine the value of each of the angles they didn't ask us to find the value of p that's just to find the angle BAC, which means BAC is equal to 2P, which is, which we just figured out to be 18 degrees. So we have 36 degrees taking place here. Understood? We also need to find the value of angle Q. Angle Q is over here. Now I'm seeing a, a few ways where we can, where we can determine the value of angle Q now. The easiest way to find the value of Q, I'm seeing here that there's this common chord, meaning these two lines create an angle and these two lines create an angle, but they both extend from the same common chord. Do you know that there's a rule for that? We call this one the bunny ears rule because it looks like a bunny ears. Angles from a common chord in the same segment are equal. The largest chord is a diameter, but oh, this is a chord, this is a chord, this is a chord. So we're just going to write that angles in the same segment from a common chord. So the angles, what I, what I normally tell my students to write is just modify the rule and put in the angles that we are talking about. The angles that we are talking about are BAC and BDC. BAC and BDC. So angles BAC and BDC, meaning BAC and BDC. So those angles in the same segment from the common chord and the chord that we are speaking on is BC are equal. Therefore, Q, Q, which is angle BAC, is also equal to what we just found out here, 36. Let's get the value of the last one. Calculate the value of the angle R. So I'm going to get rid of this. We're trying to work out R. Now, how I would get the value of R is that I would realize that this is actually creating alternate angles. 
angle R is alternate to angle 2P. That's one way I can see how I'm going to get this answer. Next, so you can figure out how you get R, which may be the easier one. Yeah, like, there are so many ways to figure out angle R. Is that this is a radius and this is a radius. So OD is a radius and OC is a radius. It means that this is an isosceles triangle. So if it's an isosceles triangle, the two base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. So it so turned out <laughs> that all these angles here turned out to be the same size. All of those angles turned out to be the same size. Can you believe it? Now I remember vividly in 2019, there was a student that got the answer for one. He got an answer for one and he write the same answer for everything. And it is true in circle geometry, once you get the answer for one of them, sometimes it repeats the same number repeats. So he just happened to get locked out that year that the same number repeated. And look, it's happening again. So you get the 36, 36 for this one, and the value of angle R also 36 degrees. Y'all, my mother calling me. So just excuse me a second. Eh? <laughs> Hello? Alive, alive right now. Alive right now. So I'm uh, in a class right now, so I'll call you back. Yeah, it's hard to answer when your mother call, even if you're not alive. Now they said to calculate the value of angle R, so therefore I would show one of the definitions that I gave that ODC is an isosceles triangle with OD equal to OC, the radius of the circle. And furthermore, base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. All right, so that brings us to the end of the video. Love and blessings. Till we meet again tomorrow around 11 a.m.